Arque. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arque, New Direction of Modern Men. In today's video, I'm going to be style breaking down no one better than Russell Westbrook. So I did make a video on Russell Westbrook's like tunnel walk and that was like a live reaction. You guys can actually see that up here. But this one is going to be a little more in depth about it and kind of getting to the basics of the nuts and bolts of his style and what you guys can take from it. So this one's going to be highly informational here and I want to share with you guys some insights from my perspective. At the same time, I want to help you guys elevate you guys' menswear. Yet again, guys, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys to comment in the section down below. Subscribe down to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. At the same time, share the content. So let's get right into this video. The cool thing I like about Russell Westbrook's fashion is that he has a combination of streetwear at the same time he adds it with high fashion. I think when it comes down to adding, adding those two worlds together, it's so unique and so versatile when someone adds their own personality to fits they like at the same time colorways or designs or the practicality of the clothing. So to me, Russell Westbrook like accentuates this the best way that I've seen so far where he adds a splash of his own personality. So I want to show you guys some reference points and show you the guys that combination of how you guys can do it within your own fashion. So we can start off with this look right here. This is a very streetwear look. You got the jean jacket right here and it is the leopard print and he has the acid wash shirt. It kind of looks like a tank top. I can't really tell, but it does have a low brim on the chest right there. He has a black vintage hat. He definitely, if you go down below, he has, and at the bottoms, he has skin tight jeans. At the same time, he has, I believe, his own shoes there. Um, some he has some basketball shoes. So this look right here is very unique. At the same time, this is definitely the essence of a streetwear type of look. What I'll actually do for him is I'll change those sneakers because sneakers are not really in my eyes. It doesn't really go well with a fit, but it is subjective at the end of the day. It depends on their taste and what you want to wear. But this is how he felt that day, so he wears it pretty well. What I'll do is I'll swap those shoes for maybe a little solid color on a pair of shoes or I'll actually throw in some like Doc Martin boots. This fit is actually quite interesting. A little bit of high end fashion right here. This outfit reminds me of the Get Out movie, but that's another story. But this outfit right here is pretty unique at the same time. It has the essence of a high end look and the way he puts it together, you know, it shows off what the suit is meant to do. At the same time, even when it comes down to his slip ons, has a nice complimentary of a little bit of street wear esque at the same time he kind of puts out high in fashion with his suit on it also with a flat brim hat this outfit is quite interesting you guys may have seen this photo before uh this is definitely a little bit of high-end fashion at the same time when it comes down to high-end fashion is it practical that's a great question. At the same time, this something right here is something that a lot of people can wear. If you're going out to events, maybe you're going out to a fashion show, at a day-to-day -day basis, if would you wear this, that's your discretion. But I, what I gotta say about this outfit is that I do like the patterns of the pants. I like the bagginess of it. I like how there is a zipper at the end of the pants there. Um, you, if you actually go up a little bit, white base t-shirt, and it has some designs on the side. So that is quite unique, it's quite different, kind of like a box type of look. It reminds me of Lego, to be honest, but the whole look is quite interesting for what it is, and he rocks it well. Here's another high fashion look, double suited. This is something that is kind of more preserved type of look, but at the same time, he does add a little personality into it with the glasses, the watch, and this is kind of subtle for him, but at the same time, it is quite unique because at the end of the day, he has the Mandarin collar shirt underneath, and that actually goes really well when it comes down to suits. If any of you guys are ever looking for suits, like a three piece, or you guys are looking for like a double breasted, try to swap out the shirt for a Mandarin collar, get, remove the tie, and I think you'll look really well for you guys. I should do a video on that in the future. Once I get into more suits, I can provide you guys those different looks, different styles, and different ways you actually can wear your suits on a day-to-day -day basis. So now transitioning to high-end fashion and stuff that you'll see in like Nordstrom's if you're from Canada, or like Barney's if you're in the States, anywhere across the world like Louis Vuitton or um, Balenciaga, 
but you'll start seeing these designs and these styles that are kind of universal within fashion. So if you start looking at this look right here, you can see this green top right here and it has a cutoff on the sleeves, kind of having a three fourths on the sleeves. It's quite unique look, ripped jeans. And at the bottom here, he has some Chelsea boots. So this is quite distinct as a look. It's very clean, it's subtle. Uh, I really like this look personally. And I think you guys can do a lot of damage when you guys wear this. When it comes down to Chelsea boots, you guys can do so much with them. Either it be kind of like a high-end look or more of a streetwear type of look as well. So this look is kind of emulating what I'm saying right now, where it's kind of has the brown shoes, uh, Chelsea's, and then he has a skinny fit, black pants, ripped at the kneecaps, and then he has a vintage tee, and then he has a long sleeve rolled up, and then a flat broom hat, kind of tying it all together with the with the bracelets and the necklace so this is quite unique it's quite different uh, at the same time it's very distinct right that's what you want to go for when it comes down to fashion have, have him be be like i call it distinctly honest just be distinctly honest of who you are and when it comes down to fashion you express it that way oh the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is how russell Westbrook adds personality into his outfits i call them costume personalities but maybe that's not even the best way to phrase it but what i'll say for lack of a better term costume personalities but at the same time it's kind of like to me it's kind of like messing with people in the sense of I'm just wearing this just to aggravate you or you can just say like I'm just wearing this just because I like it this is what he likes to do when he grabs people's attention with what he's wearing at the same time he likes to add that controversy or add people add thoughts to people's minds about what he's wearing so one thing I want to talk to you guys about right here is this look right here where he has the all jean jacket look you know, this is actually a really nice jean jacket top. I wonder where I can actually pick that up because I'll buy it. Um, he has a jean pair of pants and then he has the Vism shoes. Actually, those are fire to me. Um, definitely that Native American type of look. Um, the inspiration comes from there. And you can just see it within the Japanese uh, style and texture and how they construct the shoe. If you look into it, it's truly amazing. And this look right here is just, it says, you know, it has a native feel to it. You know, uh, the first man on the planet type of look. But this look right here is very unique to me. Adds a little personality to it, adds a little story. And that's what you want when it comes down to outfits and when, when you want to present yourself a certain way. This look is quite interesting too because it has that rock star look right here. As you can see from the rock band inspiration of his t-shirt, he complement that with his pair of pants and then coming down with a black base of shoes. So there's nothing wrong with this. This is actually quite fire. And then he has a travel case on his left hand right there. So he's in a rock star vibe. He's He knows what it's all about. You know, skin tight pair of pants, skin tight shirts. It's really about the punk grudge look. You know, it's all about the noise. It's all about destruction. It's all about self-expression. So this look is really rebellious and this is what he's going to be wearing going into game day. So this look right here is where it says, I do what I do and I'm going to do it well. So this look is a great look for him to wear before game day gets him in the right minds. So the last thing I really like about Russell Westbrook guys is that he's a visionary. So when it comes down to being a visionary, you're a forward thinker. You always think of the future or you think of ways you can implement something that's basic and make it your own, make it unique, make it something you haven't seen at the same time you're experimental. So being a visionary is something that a lot of people can apply within their fashion. If you're looking at Russell Westbrook as that main person for being a visionary, I'll add Pharrell to the vision. I'll add Nigo, I'll, I'll add um, Alexander McQueen, I'll add these type of people that think forward and think very like, like futuristic to the point of let's just try this out and see where it goes. At the same time, I think it's just about experimenting too. I think a lot of people want to be creative with their outfits at the same time, want to apply different things into the looks and I think they have it, but they just need to have that inspiration just to do it. So find inspirations even off on Pinterest, for example. I have a Pinterest account, you guys can check that out, but you can find inspirations through like pictures, dude. Like you can find inspirations through architecture. You can go outside and go around your environment and you can see inspirations from your environment basically. People 
people you grew up with or you can find inspirations from if you want to get more in depth with it you can go into inspirations from the past the only inspiration is to study the past so you can know your future if you guys are into more style videos let me know in the comment section down below let me know what your favorite outfit of wrestle the rest book is and at the same time if you guys have any suggestions of anyone else you guys want me style breakdown put it in the comment section down below i'll be reading all you guys comments make sure you like this video share it at the same time give this video a big thumbs up so yet again guys my name is Tolu. And thank you guys for watching Arcway, A New Direction of a Modern Man. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.